Jen, we're told federal prosecutors informed Carmen's lawyers about the note, but as of right now, Carmen's lawyers say they do not know what that letter says. Now, earlier today, I spoke to two of Nathan Carmen's attorneys, and they told me they are extremely shocked. In fact, one of them said he just spoke to Carmen last night, saying he sounded to be in good spirits and did not see this coming at all. I'm numb. I, this is an individual that I've been dealing with on a daily basis. Martin Manella, one of 29-year-old Nathan Carmen's attorneys, got the call this morning notifying him of his client's death. Carmen was found dead in his New Hampshire prison cell early this morning. Prison officials say he was the only one in his cell at the time he was found. His lawyer says he just spoke with Carmen Wednesday night. Manella had worked closely with Carmen to build this case, and together they formed a bond. It was an education because I had known nothing about this case till I got involved. And uh, he was a very bright, intelligent young man. Carmen was set to face trial in October in what prosecutors said was a scheme to inherit millions of dollars. He had pleaded not guilty last year in the death of his mother, Linda Carmen, who died during a fishing trip in 2016. It was also alleged Carmen shot and killed his grandfather, John Shakalos, in 2013 at his Windsor home in an effort to defraud insurance companies, though Carmen was not charged for that killing. Bill Michaels, the attorney for Carmen's family, released a statement saying, quote, while we process this shocking news and its impact on the tragic events surrounding the last several years, we ask for your understanding and respect relative to our privacy. This notice now saying the District of Vermont has dismissed the indictment against Carmen. Manella adding he and Carmen's other lawyer would have gotten him an acquittal after preparing a vigorous defense with many expert witnesses. But I think eventually the whole truth will come out. His attorneys say at the moment they cannot comment on the cause of his death. Police in Keene, New Hampshire are investigating further into Carmen's death. In the studio, Carmen Chow, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.